Steve, the, the 2007 BIN 28 Kalimna Shiraz, or should I say Kalimna BIN 28 Shiraz? Yeah, um, certainly a very famous Penfolds bin. Indeed, and here we are at Kalimna, but um, once upon a time, of course, it was entirely Kalimna fruit. Nowadays, we source fruit for this style from warmer climates. Yep, so it's multi-regional. Um, obviously, Barossa and McLaren Vale play a really important part uh, in, in this style. Yes. Um, but there's also fruit from other areas uh, and obviously from this Kalimna vineyard as well, which is yes. very important. Oh, I think it's important to have some of the original material Definitely. in there. Now, the thing though that is consistent is it's always older oak and always older American oak. Yeah, 100% yep. American oak, but primarily in two, three and four year old American oak hogsheads. Yes, yes. So. Would I be wrong to say, like, it's a style, a richer style of Shiraz, but not one that's steroidic, over the top in alcohol and extract? There's a certain drinkability about this wine, I would like to think. Yeah, generally speaking, because it's coming from warmer climate uh, Shiraz vineyards, mm -hmm. uh, here we're looking for more of those richer, chocolatey, uh, earthy type aromas. Uh, and fruit characters, really yeah. nice intensity on the palate with these sort of styles. Yes, so tannins there, but lovely ripe tannins and not much aggression, I guess a mouth filling no. sort of sensation. Yeah, really rather. generous and integrated, almost mm. really nice sweet, sweet yeah. tannins. Yeah, oh lovely. And when I drink 128, which we'll talk about in a few moments, I tend to drink that as a younger wine, but 28 does sell it, perhaps not as long as bin 389, mm. but it does sell it quite well in... Yeah, in we've seen bin 28s going back to the certainly the 70s and even on some occasions the 60s. Um, so with really good cellaring, uh, they can uh, last for many, many years and they only become more complex with bottle age. Indeed, I guess again, like with all of these reds and, and the book, The Rewards of Patience, we're not saying to people, look, keep this for 20 years. I guess what we're doing is offering them a choice, drink now, 10 years time, or across 20 years, yeah. the choice is theirs. Yeah, and because this style is so sweet and generous, you can drink them as younger wines. Yes, yes. Well, the colour certainly looks good. I tell you, if you do use colour as an indicator of how long the wine yeah. will last, it's it's Really deep, well. intense, fantastic colours. Yeah. Well, yeah. people talk about 2007 as a vintage. Ah, oh, they're not going to be long-lived and all the rest. There's nothing wrong with that. No, we've got uh, a fantastic vineyard resource. Really, some great company vineyards. Uh, and an array of fantastic growers as well. Yeah, and that flexibility of blending, and in a, in a more challenging year, we just yep. make less wine. Make less. Yep.